Oh my god, that looks really good. Wow, I look a mess right now. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. Be careful with knives, kids. <laughs> guys i just woke up and i thought i'd show you my morning routine i'm lisping right now because i have my retainers and then that's just how i sound wow i look a mess right now but it's time to brush teeth brush my hair and now it is time to get dressed i'm not going to show you that because duh okay guys we're fitted up now Whoop. coffee time hmm Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. What is that even from? I don't remember. Oh my God, you guys, editing me just remembered. The mornings are for coffee and contemplation quote is from Stranger Things. It was Hopper who said it. Also, what is that mask I have in the background? That's just been in my room for like months. Kind of creepy, but I kind of like it. Anyway, in my case, that's some reading. I have unfortunately cut myself rather severely while slicing sourdough. Unfortunate, but it was worth it for the sourdough. Be careful with knives, kids. Also, yes, I do have BT21 characters painted all over my room. And no, I will not elaborate further. Oh, this is just my little me doll that I made uh, from, you know, from Coraline where they have the little dolls. Yeah, this is, this is mine. <laughs> Looks kind of like me, I guess. I love to just leave it sitting around, especially when we have company over. Very fun. Okay, so you know what time it is. We're in the kitchen and it's time to make some cookies. I found this recipe on Morgan Ben's Insta. I'll link that in the description, but it looks really good. They're matcha flavored, so that's gonna be incredible. Okay, I have all my ingredients right here and I'm gonna combine them in a bowl as one does when baking. Cup of almond flour. tablespoon of matcha. Oh my god, that smells amazing. I feel like I am gonna want more than a tablespoon, but we'll see how it tastes when it's mixed. A quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Does anyone know what baking powder is? I do not at all. Well, I do now because I researched it, and apparently baking powder contains baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, and then it also contains an acid, so when you add a liquid, they react to release carbon dioxide gas and, you know, that forms bubbles in the dough and lightens the texture of whatever you're baking. So the more you know. Get in there. Now we whisk the dry ingredients. Now I'm going to take two tablespoons of coconut oil and melt it in a pan like me. <laughs> Hmm. Looks oily, as one would expect an oil to look. Alright, now we add the melted oil. Cool. And then the last ingredient is three tablespoons of maple syrup. Great. Now we're going to whisk it again. Formed a dough, I'm gonna taste. Pretty good, as I suspected, needs more matcha. Okay, that should be enough. All right, that looks great. And then I'm just gonna make this into six balls and I'm placing them on a baking tray that's lined with a silicone baking mat. preheat the freaking oven. This always happens. Dough tastes great. I'm a culinary genius. I just followed a recipe. 
All right. This is what the cookies look like going into the oven. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt on the top of them to offset the, I don't know, to balance the flavor profile or whatever. Nice, okay, that's good. Okay, I baked them at 325 degrees for about like 12 or 13 minutes and they look great. We're gonna try them as soon as they cool down. Okay, it's been a few minutes and we're gonna try it. Oh my God, that looks really good. Okay. Mm. It's really good. I love the taste of almond flour. Awesome. You guys should definitely try this recipe. It was so easy and it's great. My nails are really short now because I just cut them for cello playing and stuff. Um, and I'm gonna paint them to make them a little cuter. left hand is a whole lot less coordinated than my right so I don't think that would be very fun to watch um I'm gonna do the other hand off camera okay all done with that Philip, what's the matter it's my dog I thought I would do some relaxing art so we're gonna draw one of my favorite k-pop idols with some watercolor pencils
here's the finished product. I kind of like how it turned out. It's kind of like dark and blurry and creepy. Yeah, I don't know, just kind of like it. Last touch is adding the signature. And there we go. See you next time.